Start recording. Okay, so we're back to another uh, another league with Tron. Struggled with my first league, but we're gonna give it another another go, another college try. <clears throat> I might play a league with Death Shadow, depending on how we do. I might play a league with Death Shadow. I might play a league with Amulet. I might play a league with Storm. I don't know what I'm feeling today. Also, it all depends on how my dog's doing. Unfortunately, Philly picked up a uh, Philly picked up a pretty uh, pretty bad skin infection from the lake he was in this weekend. So I'm home hanging out with him for the most of the day. But I just gotta make sure he's doing good. He's sleeping now. So. Uh, so in my eye. I only play with Shadow. Nice. Yeah, I, I love that Shadow a lot. Like I think I think that Shadow is a very very good deck. I think it's the best fair deck in the format. I don't think it's particularly close. Um, Mind Tower. Okay, so this is turn three. Tron turn four. Ooh. Ugin. So we're going to keep this. Nineteen trophies is a lot. That's really good. I still think it's very good. Like, I don't think you have a lot of bad matchups. We're going to play another Infect deck. Jesus. <laughs> That's legit. Okay, so let's play this tower and play the star and pass. Oh, you don't. Oh, Teddy doesn't have it on low, though. All right. Hopefully, we don't just get murked next turn. Ballista is really good. Ballista might be a better payoff than. No, it's not better payoff than Ugin. I'm crazy. So let's add a green. And let's go get Mine Tower Power Plant. Good, good. I hope I hope you do well. I'm a huge proponent of the deck. I think the deck is like really good. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna we're definitely gonna shoot down this blighted agent. <coughs> There's okay, am I just dead? Nine these. Okay, Urza's mine, Urza's tower, Urza's power plant, and then Ballista. For three. And then I'm just gonna shoot this thing right now. And then play a star. And mow that lawn. I don't know how we're alive. Yeah, we're we're good. Oh, they just scoop it up, gas. They're just like we can't be this. I could just put. Four counters on this Bliss every turn, probably win. So I got murked the last time I played Infect. But let's go, let's cut these relics. Um, Ulamog's probably slow. Um, I probably want Spatial Contortion and Warping Whale. Trinisphere. I definitely want these. I kind of want my Thought Not Sears, but I don't know what to cut. 
Like, is Ugin too slow? And the fact that it doesn't hit Ink Moth Nexus, bad. I can, like, Karn might not be that great on the draw. And then I can bring these Thought Knot Seers in. Maybe shave, like, one Ugin. Well, Nature's Claim only hits Ink Moth, right? So, like, that seems kind of narrow. Especially like a Contortion and, like, Warping Whale also kills creatures. <sighs> Killing Nobles in the upkeep makes sense. For sure. Claim it, Skite, and Nexus. How many spell skites are in these decks, though? And then what do I cut, you know? Like, at least the Thought Not Seer blocks Blighted, Blighted Agent, or not Blighted Agent, Glistener Elf, and then draws a card. I think if I see spell skite, Teddy, I'm going to board in these. But I, I don't know how popular spell skite is in these decks. It used to be very popular. But that was in a different format. But if, if I see Spell Sky, I'm going, I'll definitely bring it in, Teddy. I, don't, I, th I think that uh, Nature's Claim isn't enough. Unless they bring in, like, Shaper Sanctuary, which seems pretty medium. All right, we're going to ship this. Oh, this hand's not great. I think we're just going to keep this hand because we have a Ballista. And we're going to scry anything that's not a Tron piece to the bottom. Or a Sylvan Scrying. Yeah, we're just going to put this on the bottom. It's just too slow, I think. Uh, Worm, Worm Coil Engine attacks, wins the game, I guess. Maybe I could probably could have shaved one of those, yeah. I want to make sure I have enough to win. But Worm Coil Engine's probably not, not great. Okay, so we're just going to get absolutely turn two here. The sad thing here is how my hand is constructed. I can't crack Chromatic Sphere and Warping Whale this Glistener Elf. Yeah, so we're definitely just hitting this Glistener Elf on my main phase. I'm going to crack this, and if I don't hit a Tron piece, I'm just going to Ballista the Glistener Elf. Okay, so we hit a Tron piece, which is gas. And then we're going to just try this out. Hopefully they don't have a mutagenic growth. All right, nice. So my, what are they doing on my upkeep? Why are they pausing? I don't know, Chris Schaefer, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching here, I appreciate it. So what do I do? I can play Expedition Map and hold Expedition Map. Or I can Sylvan Scrying for the Tron piece and play Expedition Map. Playing Ballista for one seems like super mopey and doesn't make me think I'm actually going to win the game. Though playing Ballista for one gives me a lot of time. Are you like Ballisting the Agent right now or are you um, just like Threat of activation it there, Chlorium? Like, if they crack this fetch land, then I'm going to smoke this thing.
And I guess it's just worth doing this now. Because if they have like a, a vines or a blossoming defense, they at least use it on my turn. Or we just like threat of activation them. Yeah, so we're just going to do it. I agree. The lack of dismember in this deck makes me a little worried. Like, I think there should be dismembers in this deck. The more I play here. What are they doing? Okay, so they blow Pump Spell. Which we'll take it. And then we play this map and we cross our fingers. They need six points of Pump out of four cards, which is like definitely within the range. The fact that they haven't just snapped it off means that, means that we're doing okay. Because like if they had it, I'd already be dead. Five, six, seven. What are we down to one? Become immense. Now that they can delve it. Yep, they got me. And that's that's fair. You know, like, that's likely what's supposed to happen. So, that's just kind of how she goes. Okay. So, we probably don't need this Worm Coil Engine. I kind of want more Karns when I'm on the play. So, let's just cut some Worm Coil Engines. And let's get Karn going on. I don't think I want the Nature's Claims. Like, they just seem so narrow. And Karn on the play is much better than Karn on the draw. So I, th I think we're going to go like this. But I could play one more Ugin on the play also and just cut all my Wormcoil Engines. That's probably good to do. Mine Tower... Yeah, we'll keep this. See, it's pretty good. We can like ballista something on two if we need to. Okay. You cut lands for this deck? I didn't know that. I didn't know that was a thing. Spatial contortion. I kind of just want to hit this with spatial contortion. It's just going to slow them down so much. I lose my opportunity to cast a green spell. But I think I'm going to do this. Yeah, I agree. I just don't want... I want to slow my opponent's mana production down. Like, that might not be a good thing to do, but... I also like being able to trim a sphere in boarding. Okay. And then I think we're just gonna like try this right now. They have a mutagenic growth, they do, but at least that's not getting pointed at me. Yeah. So we want another Tron piece. Another Tron piece would be these.
So get in while getting's good, opponent, right? Oh wow. Okay, bing, bing, bing. Well, that sucks that we can't cast anything. But that's still a pretty good draw. As long as we don't die next turn. We're likely to die, but... So let's get this power plant... Likely dead, for sure. Five. Seven. Yep, they got me. Jeez. Well, this is just like the bottom of the barrel matchup here, right? This is one of those lo real lopsided ones. God, I was so high on this deck. I mean, it's the best, like I think one of the best decks in the format. And then I've just gotten absolutely dumpstered. All right, we're gonna ship this. But we play against Infect twice. That's not super common. All right, we're gonna keep this. Put star on the bottom. Same thing as cycling it. Are you open to a deck request? Let's see what it is there. Thrush, 97. I don't play... I don't get too... This, this is also awful. I don't play too, too much magic. Um, so I most of the time just play... Like, what I'm looking to play, but, like, if it's something that interests me. Yeah, this is tough. Jade Light Ranger. So this is a Devotion deck. Okay, so this is, like, not good, but it could be worse. This is cool, but it's it's just not my not my jam. There, the rush ninety seven. Okay, so let's Urs is mine. Urs is mine. Okay, so let's can trip here. We don't have Tron yet or a payoff. Okay, so there's the map. Which is good. Let's play the power plant. Play the sphere. And pass. It does look cool. I hope you enjoy playing it. it looks fun. But just not my cup of tea, sir. Oh, wow. How lucky. So this is just easy. Go get the tower. Play this tower. Let's crack this for green. Okay, let's play the map. Crack the map for a ghost quarter. And then pass. So she's all mana. If they have a way to blow up sphere, we aren't blown out. Okay, that's just a sequencing thing. I appreciate you, uh, you know, asking Rush though. All right. 
So I'm going to cast this and pop it now. Redraw. That's that's good. All right, now we're just going to ghost quarter this Utopia Sprawl. And then my opponent's draw step. We need like a worm coil or an Ulamog. Though we didn't give us the opportunity to gash Ulamog next turn. Unless we drew, we can't draw anything. So we draw Ulamog or turn off. It's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a Thrag Tusk. Ooh, Primal Command, my Urza's Tower. That's a good play. That kills me, right? I have no outs now because I can't draw a payoff. Yep. Good play from the opponent. Good play. Very good play. Okay. So against this deck, I think it's all small creatures decks. I want these. And... I definitely don't think I want my relics. And we can cut we're gonna go with the Seagate Wreckage cut. Um I kinda want room for my thought nuts here. The worm coil engine is well the world breaker hits a land that has uh, whatever it is on it, which is probably pretty good. Ugin clears up. I think I'm gonna cut my worm coil engines and play Thought Not Seer, and then on the draw, cut some Carns and bring Worm Coil Engine in. Is that crazy to do? Um, C C B C B Jorn. Cause like, I don't think I think I'm better off just trying to like land a seven drop or land disruption plus O Stone on turn three. And on the draw, they're likely to have a better board, so I can cut some of these and then bring in something to buffer my life total. Cutting Karn is usually loose. Well, that's modern, right? Karn has to be. Because you can hit, like, a, a land that's got a Utopia Sprawl on it. One, two... So this is a turn three Tron. We can play Thought Not Seer plus X, hopefully, on our first turn. Or on turn three. And we could just run into something really good. Or should they have infinite grudges, so cutting one crow seems easy. Okay, that makes sense. So let's get a green mana. Eugene's probably good. So let's go this into Silver and Scrying for the mine. So my opponent goes Utopia Sprawl. They can play Garrick on the next turn, which is, Garrick's pretty big. Appreciate everybody for hanging out today. We're at 30 viewers. We're going to look to play. I think we're going to play something a little more interesting in our next league. Um, 
Oh, Jesus. I just didn't side in any anything to deal with this, right? I left my name. Leaving my nature's claims out was probably pretty loose. I have O stone. So let's. We can find O stone. So now we just got to hit land drops. So let's ancient stirrings. Find something good. I can't cast either of these. Uh, I'll take the Thought Nuts here just in case. So we just need to hope that they don't have anything going on. You do scrying there? Or is stirrings better? That's something I don't know. I don't know when to scry and when to stir. <clears throat> okay, so there's a sprawl. So they have three mana. That's kind of loose for them to put it. I guess they have to do the forest. Get them out of the deck. Okay, that makes sense. So four, here's Garrick. Okay. So now the clock's on. You just make a 3-3? Three, three? Yeah. You have a shitload of mana next turn. So might as well just get... Tower, plant, mine, power, plant. Just get another tower. Because I have doubles of each one of these, so I'll get a double of the tower. Tireless Tracker, okay. It's just like my opponent is going to huff me? No. Command my forest, and they tutor for Woodland Bellower? Holy shit. We're probably like super dead. Because they're getting a Woodland Bellower. These have been rough. These have been rough games for the home team here. I blame you. It's your fault I lose this game. Okay, so let's go here. Hang on one second. I'm downloading some lists here to get our to get our next lead in. See what we want to do. So let me go show folder. Oh gosh. Yeah, we're just oh we're just super dead. We're dead this game. 
Because like we can't we can't get they're just gonna lock us with that. So let's get we're still in the league. So we're gonna keep going. We are 0 and 5 with this deck, which is pretty pretty rough. Sorry, I'm just loading, getting deck lists set up here. And then dashboard, stream decker, decks, upload new. Our decks, my decks. Okay, so let's go Amulet Titan. Uh, this looks like a mulligan, if I had to assume. Yeah. Pretty straightforward mulligan here. Amulet Titan. Okay, so Storm, Hollow One. Okay, so in our next league, we're gonna mulligan again. Sorry, I'm now now I'm paying attention. <laughs> oh jeez. All right, heater. Got to salvage. Got to get the three two. So our next league, we're either going to play Death Shadow, Amulet, Hollow One, or uh, Storm. That's what we're going to do with the next one. Oh my god. How many, like, Infect decks are we going to, are we going to run into here? Oh, this is like a Bant Nightfall deck. We drew a Karn. Sad. Cast this. Are you back in the of Pyramid? You should ranch all these Infect decks. You want to play a deck that really ranches these decks and is good against everything else, play Death Shadow. Rattle Chains. Huh. Playing against Bant Spirits. I'm alright trading. Okay. Just play Gutshot. <laughs> Maybe I'll put like four Gutshots on my sideboard. I found it odd this deck didn't play Dismember. Come on. All right. Map will do something. We're just like living on a prayer here. Selfless Spirit. Okay. Then my opponent's going to play the Drog Skull Captain. Image the Captain. And then we're going to cry. Okay. Yeah, I think we got we got to hit a land drop in order to have a chance. Power plant. Devastator. 
So you're just playing Riser's deck there. Because um, Devastating Summons is the one that sacks lands, right? So we have to hit the exact Tron piece here. Because then we can play Worm Dad. But all these things fly, right? So for... I don't think I have an out. Bang, bang, bang. Block take four. My opponent misses on a spirit. So play mine. I have eight mana. Okay. My opponent misses on a spirit. Then I can survive. Block this. Shoot this on my turn. Block this. Shoot this. Take five. But then I'm dead to this next turn. They attack with this. We block the Geist. Gain six. Go to 12. Take two, four. Yeah, we're just going to slam this Worm Coil Engine and pray. Alternatively, I can do both. <clears throat> I might get out of this. Okay. So I have to shoot the Selfless Spirit before next turn anyways, because I have to gain life. So I'm just going to pop this now to save myself the damage. I lose to, like... And I lose the rattle chains, I guess. It doesn't do it, right? Well, yeah, it does, because because this pumps this does the six exactly. Uh, could I have gotten around that? No, because it would just sack the spirit. Oh man, that sucks. That's like the that's like the draw they needed. I did infect cyborg really on the last hook against me. That sucks. I think I had I had a chance. Okay, so probably just want Thrag Tusk. O Stone's probably great. These relics probably aren't that good. I could just go clean swap. Could sideboard out like a world breaker. World breaker blocks the air creatures though, so I kind of want that. Kind of just want to go just like this. Like these are kind of decent, but I don't want to dilute my deck. I think I've been diluting the deck too much. So let's start a poll here. I should have died a hero. We're gonna be a hero in our next league. We're gonna play something. We're gonna play something different. So let's go. Let's figure out how to do a poll. I would like to play first. I gotta keep this. Okay. So our next league. Is that what you've done? I guess I can always get nervous drink, um, cutting uh, spheres. Pull 600. So we've got Storm, Amulet, 
GDS and then Hollow Boy. That do it. Oh, I have to do exclamation point poll. What a tilt. Poll cannot be longer than five minutes. So that's 300. Okay. Uh, we're going to go like this. Play tower. Then play map and pass. Did I do storm wrong? Wow. How do I delete a poll? I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sad. I'm just hardly a legitimate human being. I should go under a hole. Okay, Urza's mine, Urza's tower. So let's get this mine in. And what are the odds my opponent plays something weird? I'm just going to do this now. They could play like an Aven mine sensor. Just get power plant, and then we can play Thrag Dad next turn, which should be pretty good. When do we start playing New Legacy? When I get to a thousand viewers. You have to go strong, Russell Wilson, because I'm an idiot. Oh my god, I just clicked on the wrong land. I'm just so off of this deck right now. And it's because of my own. Like, I'm making mistakes. But, so now I'm just going to Sylvan Scryings. Let's crack this. I'm just not focused. Which is my fault. I did and my phone auto-corrected. So this could get spell colored. I'm just gonna get a forest. Okay, so this is gonna get spell colored. Karn knows. Karn's there for me. So now we're just going to go Karn down on this thing. And hopefully we don't get companied. Our Karn get wrecked. Okay, so now I kind of want to go up with Karn. Because it just dies. Yeah, let's just go up. We have a negate. Oh, whatever. Jeez, that's tough. All right. Um, I'm going to crack this for a forest because I want to be able to cast the old Thrag Dad next turn. You on Karn up. Yeah, that was, that was the game plan. We'd be in such a better spot if we had a Thrag Tusk in play right now. I'd like everyone to know that. So let want to know that if the streamer wasn't an idiot, we'd be in a better spot. Unified Will is a really great sideboard card for them. Add green. Okay, so Ballista is gas. Because that lets me go get the old Ulamog.
I'm not super sure what the point of this is. So we're gonna give some stuff hexproof, which is gas. I'm still just gonna like mow down. Yes, go get Ulamog. So I'm still just going to remove a counter, hit this. I'm just going to like consolidate my opponent's board now. I don't think I'm going to kill this thing. All right, we're going to run the poll one more time now that I've got um, now that I can spell storm right. Oh, shoot. All right, we're gonna do. We're gonna run it right now that we got this going on. All right, so we get rid of that. Now I'm going to. I think I'm gonna upkeep. Shoot this rattle change. Because I would like my opponent to commit now, or commit on their main phase. Okay. Honestly, I might just like hit this noble hierarch at the end of their turn, and then I should have done that right now, which was stupid. But then like go Ulamog and hit these two lands. I think that's what I'm gonna do. How much mana? Three, six, ten. I'm kind of just down for like double stone, like triple stone rating my opponent. Okay, so let's cast this. Two, four, ten. All right, well, there's Eugene. I think I'm still just going to play Ulamog. Because that just guarantees does something. And we're just going to go bang, bang. Get rid of some lands. I find the most savage thing that this deck does is just get rid of lands. <laughs> Ulamog seems good. Look at this. We got 33 people watching this stream right now. And we've got one vote. Is this America? On July 4th, is this is this what we want out of our out of our world right now? Okay, so we're getting company. Drog Skull Captain, okay. Our opponent cracked me for five in the air. Which is worth seeing. I'm going to take Philly out and feed him. Is that Xaxes? Oh my god, 3610. Oh my god, what a tilt. Do we just get Xaxes? Like they had to they drew the land and had the Gideon. Holy shnikes. You want to talk about getting dumpstered. All right. Screw this. 